Tuesday, September 15, 8.20 a.m. I'm going to see if I can get this policeman to shake my hand of this old guy during the pandemic. I think he's new. Hi, Sam. How are you doing? I'm doing great. And yourself? Yeah. We're running the mail a little crazy on us today. What's happening? The mail's going crazy today. i got to go get packages. I'm going to get another vehicle and run some packages and wait on the mail. Somebody's leaking oil down in front of my house. I, it maybe could it's be like, me. Huh? It could be me. Yeah, or it might be either the uh, garbage truck or the uh, or my neighbor. Yeah. He, my neighbor's got a big puddle of oil in, under his Ooh. car. Good. Good. Oh, good luck. Hey, thanks. Have a hey, good day. Okay, he's still here. Let's see if I can get him to shake my hand. Hello, hey. good morning. My name's Sanford. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, I walk around here quite a bit. I'm retired. Yes, sir. I met um, Officer Miller quite a bit. Yes. But I don't hey. know if he's still here. No, Miller actually just resigned. He's going to work at another department. No. I enjoyed his, I enjoyed his company. He was... Uh, what are you uh, retired from? A machinist. Okay. Uh, machinist, and then that was a really dangerous job. I did that for, 50, I mean, for 30 years, 33 years, and then... Uh, I took an early retirement when I was 55 and found a real dangerous job at a prison camp for teenage boys. And they shut that down and then they offered me the job down here in Kendor at Eckerd's. Yeah. yeah. So I worked there. And then they turned it into a dormitory style kind of thing. So I was just sitting there from 10 o'clock at night to three uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. My eyes were going like this at 3 o'clock in the morning. So I, I, I quit there. Yeah. My, uh, one of my co-workers they have a place out in the western part of the state and he got hit in the arm with an axe oh really and uh that's why i turned it from a wilderness into a dormitory hmm. so by three o'clock in the morning i was i was wishing somebody would come after me with an axe keep me, <laughs> keep me awake <laughs> yeah i don't know how people do that kind of work at that time in the morning yes is there a lot of is there a lot of folks there at that time how many did y'all have to keep? How, how many people was y'all doing? The, the uh, inmates? Yes. Uh, 36. Oh, okay. There's three camps, 12 in each camp. Okay. During the day, when it was a wilderness type of thing, during the daytime, that's when all the escapes, the riots happened. Yeah. I'd be driving in at uh, 10 o'clock at night. It looked like a tornado hit the place. Trees were thrown through the windows, mm. doors were ripped off of the walls police were carrying the kids out hmm. that didn't go on in my watch no <laughs> I just uh, I, that's a joke kind of because the, but the bad kids they drug them up with Seroquel and uh, it's an antipsychotic that makes them sleep so they never gave me any trouble <laughs> <laughs> they didn't give anybody any trouble <laughs> okay have a good day alrighty